what is up guys welcome or welcome back to my channel the budgeting biologist my name is Brittany. i do videos on cash stuffing budgeting and finance here on my channel so if you're interested in any of that type of content please like comment and subscribe and stay tuned for the rest of the video so first off let me say hello youtube it is so great to be back i have not uploaded a video for like three weeks now and let me explain why um you could probably see by the title of this video your girl got a new job i am i mean i am over the moon excited about it it's in the exact field that i want doing the type of work that i want i feel really grateful and really, really, really fortunate right now. Um, and I really want to thank all of you in this community who throughout the last couple videos that I've been talking about my job search, who have wished me luck, set a pair for me, um, sent me good or positive vibes at, during my job search. I appreciate you more than you will ever know. And I'm really excited to be taking on this new journey. Now, given that, my budget, on the other hand, has not <laughs> been working out. It's definitely seen better days. Um, like I mentioned, I was like, you know, doing interviews and negotiations in addition to teaching and still keeping up with my current job pretty much all of March. And guys, my budgeting and my YouTube channel just had to take a back seat to literally everything else that's going on in my life right now. Um, and with that, I really need to kind of do a reset of my budget. Um, I have no idea like how much I spent at each one of my categories. I didn't keep up with it at all. So um, what I am going to do in this video is I'm basically going to be spring cleaning my budget, um, kind of going through my cash envelopes and then some of my sinking funds to basically take out money and put that towards um, my credit card balance. So currently on my credit card, I owe $1,145.47. Yes, this is way more money than I normally spend, but like I said, in my defense, March was a really busy month for me, guys. Like, I ate out a lot. I had um, friends come in town towards the beginning of March that was unexpected. It was just, March was just <laughs> chaos, getting a new job, all that good stuff. Um, so yeah, I really wanted to start fresh for April and that's what we're gonna be doing in this video. So let's go ahead and jump straight into it. So I think the first thing I'm going to do is go ahead and unstuff all of my envelopes and see how much money that I have in them and then combine that all together with the money that I'm gonna be taking out of my sinking funds and then see how close we get to that $1,145 I need to put towards my credit card. So I'm going to start off with my wallet. It looks like I have some money left over my wallet. I have, what is that, $6. And then I have a bunch of change, tons of change from this month. And this I'm just going to toss into my change jar and let's see how much we have. So in my change jar, it looks like right now we have a total of $12.18 in my change jar. And I'll probably cash this in at the end of the year. But I had $6 in my wallet. Household, we have $10. So I'm actually going to rearrange this and I did buy my cash tray. So hold on, let me go grab my cash tray and I'll be right back. All right, so my cash tray is finally back. This thing was missing in action for like months. It had wound up in like a rarely used cabinet that I don't ever touch. I have no idea why I ever put it in there, but she's back. So I'm going to be using her in this video to unstuff pretty much all of my money. So eating out, we have, what is that? 20, 40, 60, 65, 70, 71, 2, 3, 4, 5, $75 from eating out. 
I have not been keeping up with my cash unstuffings at all, but I have still been, you know, fetching my receipts. And of course, uh, my code will be on the screen right now. Gas and parking, I definitely went over in this category. Um, I gave myself $40. I think I wanted up spending like 60, so definitely went over there. Alcohol definitely went over in this category as well. Gave myself $20. I think I spent around like 40. Um, like I mentioned in the beginning of the video, I did have a friend come into town and yeah, just, just all that went to the wayside when she was here. Um, spending, I already took that money out of my wallet. I had $6 left over from my general spending money. Beauty, I don't think I've actually spent this money this month, or did I? I can't remember. No, I did spend it when I got my nails done during the beginning of March, and it had $50. Groceries, I think, I can't remember, but I think I spent like right around 175 because that's how much I have. I think I spent around 175, maybe a little bit over, but I didn't do too bad in groceries. The two category categories I spent the most over in were eating out and then going out. Going out, I winded up spending way more money than I wanted to. Laundry, I think, um, I, I don't think I overspent in laundry. In laundry, I gave myself $10. Date night and going out, I definitely overspent in this category. I gave myself $100. I think I spent like well over 200, possibly 250 in this category. Um, my boyfriend and I had a date night. I have friends in town in early March and in later March, like this category got blown out the water this month, but it is what it is. I gave myself 100, definitely spent double that. And personal, I also believe I went over and personal as well. So I gave myself $70 for personal this month, I, this month and I think I spent like 80. So yeah, I, I told y'all, March was just, March was rough y'all. Mar March was really rough in terms of my budget. This is basically some rollover money that I had from February that I never got a chance to putting around uh, getting around to what I'm going to do with it, but I'm going to put it towards my credit card. I think that's why I put it in my credit card envelope instead of my rollover envelope because I went over every single category, so, or almost every single category, and I'm going to need all the help that I can get. All right, so now we're going to move on to unstuffing the sinking funds. The first one I'm going to unstuff is electronics. I did, um, um, buy, get a new iPhone. I think I mentioned that on this channel and the payment posted on my credit card. So I really need to pay that off. And um, right now in electronics, I have 100, 200, 300, 400, 410, 11, 12, 13, 14. So I have $414 in electronics and it's all gonna be going towards my credit card. And then the other category I need to take out of is Brittany. And Brittany, um, don't remember how much I spent out of this. I think I spent around like, I don't know, like I think like $77 or something like that. But right now we have 100, 120, 140, 160, 180, 185. Um, 188, sorry, 186, 187, 188. So I'm just gonna unstuff this full envelope even though I didn't spend all the money. And I'm gonna do that because basically what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna unstuff pretty much all of my sinking funds and then redistribute the money later on in the video. But I'm not gonna unstuff them all yet. I'm just gonna start with the categories I know I spent money out of, which was electronics, Brittany, and then I spent money out of clothes, definitely. I got some spring clothes. If you guys have watched any of my previous videos, y'all know I love spring. It's my favorite time of the year, especially for clothes. So in uh, clothing right now, I have 100, 120, 125. I think I spent 177, but 
sorry, not 177. I think I spent $77 at H&M. Uh, but I'm gonna unstuff the whole thing. And we're gonna basically start over towards um, uh, later on in the video. The other category I know I spent money out of was gifts. And gifts, I spent money on two baby shower gifts. One, my boyfriend's sister is having a baby and two, one of my really good friends is also having a baby. So I got them gifts for their, um, you know, their uh, upcoming uh, babies. And right now in gifts, I have 100, 200, 220, 230. I did not spend $230 on gifts. I think I spent around $100, but like I said, we're unstuffing the entire thing, so. And then the last category that I know I spent money out of was medical. And medical, I spent $20 on a prescription. And right now we have 100, 150, 170, 180, 181. So I'm gonna unstuff my full medical envelope for right now. All right, so I've pretty much taken out the money from categories that I know I spent money out of from March. I'm gonna count all of it up and then um, basically take enough to pay off my credit card bill and then use whatever is left over to redistribute amongst my sinking funds, pretty much giving me a fresh start on my sinking funds and my cash envelopes, which are now empty um, for the month of April. So this is a lot of money to count. I don't think I've ever counted this much money on camera before. So hopefully I can get this right um, in one take, but we'll see. So let's go ahead and count up the money. So we have 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 600, 700, 800, 900. 1,000, then we have uh, 50, 100, 150. So let me add, so we have 1,000 plus 150 plus 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 20, 40, 60, 80, 200, 20, 40, 60, 80, 300, 20, 40, 60, 80, 400, 20, 40, 60. So we have $460 in 20s. And then we have 10, 20, 30 in 10s. In fives, we have 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55 in fives. And then in ones we have one, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one. So so far the amount of money that we have unstuffed is one thousand seven hundred and sixteen dollars. So if we subtract one thousand. $145, that means we'll have $571 left over to redistribute amongst our sinking funds. So I'm gonna go ahead and take out $1,145. So I don't wanna take all of my $100 bills because I'm gonna want to redistribute them. So let's take 100, 200, 300, 400, 500 and $100 bills, and that should leave us with five left over. Let's take 150s, of course, I'm leaving my old 50, I'm never getting rid of this. So now we have $600. Um, let's see how many we could take in 20. So we could have one, two, three, four, five, that's 100, one, two, three, four, five, that's 200, one, two, three, four, five, that's 300. So we have 600 plus 300, that gives us $900. So that's $900. I'm actually gonna grab one more $100 bill. That, put us, that puts us at, what is that, 1,000? And then I still need uh, $145. 
So let's see what we can do. So we can do, um, what is that? Mm, wait a minute, where'd my special 50 go? Okay, I don't wanna lose my special 50. Um, so we can do, we can do 320, so that's 60, that's 70, 80, hmm, no, I don't think that's gonna work, guys. Hold on. Let me make sure I'm doing this right. I guess I'll take another 100. Okay, so that's 1,100, and then we just need 45. So we'll do 120, um, 5, 10, 15, 20. So that's 40. And then let's take five ones. So one, two, three, four, five. So we should have $1,145 that's going to be going towards my um, credit card bill. So we have 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 600, 700. That's 800, 20, 40, 60, 80, 900, 20, 40, 60, 80, 1,000, 20, 40, 60, 80, 1,100. 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Excellent. So this money will be going towards paying off my credit card. And I'm just going to move this out the way because I didn't need it. And I'll put this in my credit card envelope. I am going to go directly to the bank to deposit. So now we should have $571 left over to put into our um, sinking funds that we're basically going to be redistributing. All right, so the way I'm gonna do this is I'm going to unstuff the rest of my money, count that and then redistribute it in my, um, my sinking funds. The only envelope I'm not going to be unstuffing is future because I do not want to touch this envelope. July is gonna be here before we know it. So that is the only envelope that I'm leaving untouched. So the rest of these envelopes, I'm going to unstuff and I'll be right back. All right guys, so this is all the money that I'm going to be putting in my sinking funds, starting from scratch pretty much. So let's go ahead and count this up. So we have 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 600, 700, 800, 900, 1,000. 1,050. Oops, forgot my calculator, y'all. So we have 1,000 plus 50 plus 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 20, 40, 60, 80, 220. So plus 220. Then we have 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, plus 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55. And then we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. So in total in my sticky funds, I'm going to be um, stuffing $1,395. And I'm gonna go ahead and update the tracker off camera to save a little bit of time. I don't want this video to be too long. All right, so electronics, we just wiped out, literally just fresh. So um, I'm only gonna be putting $50 in electronics. So, my old 50 that I'm never getting rid of will be going to electronics. Brittany, um, I spent quite a bit of money out of here. So I think to start this envelope off, I'm going to do $60. And guys, I'm kind of just freehanding these values right now. Um, 
you know, to like what I think I'm going to need in the near future. I don't think I'm going to need any electronics in the near future. I think I will be pulling for my Britney envelope soon. Um, so I'm going to leave, um, I'm basically doing the values off of what I think I'm going to need coming up. Vacation, I am going to need money out of here. So I'm going to put 100, 200, 300, 400, and $500 in vacation. Because I will be going to another baby shower in April and I'm going to be paying for my plane tickets with this money. Actually, no, let's put 600. Let's put 600 in here. So we have $600 in total in vacation. Car insurance, I did not unstuff because I have not touched this money um, in addition to future, which I know I have not touched. So this still has, I think, $88. So we have 20, 40, 60, 80, 85, 86, 87, 88. So this is just staying as is until um, my April cash stuffing. Um, car maintenance, car maintenance, I'm gonna go ahead and put $150 into. And that is because my registration is going to be due sooner rather than later. Uh, my registration is like $220. So I need to start building this envelope up. So I have 100, 120, 140, 150. Um, Christmas, I think I'm going to be putting $40 in here. So I'm actually going to take a 20, a 10, and then two fives. Start getting rid of some of these smaller bills. Actually, let's do five ones. So one, two, three, four, five. Always forget about the smaller bills. So $40 in Christmas. Clothes, I know I spent a bunch of money out of here. I had 125, I know I spent around 77. So let's see, 125 minus 77, which means more or less I should have 48. I'm gonna round it up to 50 um, and put that in clothes. All right. So gifts, gifts, I'm going to be putting $300 into gifts um, because my boyfriend, he is finishing school this spring. So I'm going to try to get him a really nice gift. He didn't want a birthday gift. So I'm going to basically be combining his birthday gift and his finishing school gift. So I'm going to put in $300 in gifts because that's literally next month he's going to be done with school. All right, I have a couple envelopes left. So YouTube, I think I'm gonna go ahead and put $40. No, actually let's put, let's put $60 into YouTube. And I'm putting $60 into YouTube because I'm getting really close to 500 subscribers. Um, and once I hit that goal, I plan on doing a really nice giveaway on my channel. So I need money to fund it. So we're gonna do 60, uh, yeah, 60 bucks in YouTube. Um, shop small, I think I'm going to do mm, 15, no, let's do, let's do 17 in shop small. Let's give it a little bump, let's do 17 because I do want to get some new stuff now that I'm like kind of back on my channel after abandoning it for so long. Um, I do want to, you know, get some new stuff to have on my channel. Future is we are not touching. And the last one is medical. So everything else I have is gonna go into medical, which means um, in medical we have 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67, 68 dollars in medical. All right, so all of my sinking funds have been stuffed. Now all I wanna do is basically count how much I have in my savings challenges and we're almost done with this video. All right, so I have my savings challenge binder here. Let's go ahead and open her up. 
All right, so in my $1 savings challenge, yes, you see some fives because I had to make change using this envelope, but that's okay. So just, just pretend that these are ones. So I have five, 10, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32. $32 in my one savings challenge. And again, in my $5 savings challenge, I had to make change. So um, just pretend this is a bunch of fives. So we have 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60. And our fives challenge. Our $1,000 savings challenge, I haven't stuffed this in forever, so let me see how much I have. So I have 20, 25, 26, 27 in my $1,000 savings challenge. I think it's, I have not stuffed these envelopes in forever. Um, my zero out challenge, I have five, six, seven, eight dollars in zero out. Emergency, which is like cash emergency, I have 10, 11, 13, sorry, 10, 11, 12, 13 dollars in my cash emergency. Um, nothing in investing yet. Like I said, it's been a while since I had stuffed these envelopes, but we are getting back on track, guys. That That's the whole point. We, we are gonna get back on track. So it feels really good to have my sinking funds restuffed and you know basically starting fresh with these and to be um, able to pay off my credit card my really large credit card balance with this money um, and start over fresh in my cash envelopes for the month of april so with that i'm gonna go ahead and end the video Thank you so much for watching and once again to those of you who wished me well during my job journey or my job search journey thank you so much i will appreciate it more than you will ever know i hope that i can be more active on my channel moving forward now that that has calmed down and um, the classes that i teach are going to be over in may so i'll have more time to focus on this channel but anyways Thank you so much for watching. If you did enjoy the video, please like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see y'all next time. Happy spring. Bye.